Hello, 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 Mana Burn. How are you doing? How are you keeping? I hope you are well. I hope you are staying safe. I know that this is not the opportune time for me to be doing the grab bags um, due to the fact that Command Fest is going on. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably partaking in Command Fest. And if you are unaware of what I am talking about, they decided to do Command Fest online uh, because of all of the lockdown and everything, which is a great idea, in my opinion. Absolutely fantastic. I unfortunately did not get to take uh, part in a lot of it, mainly because I had a whole bunch of things I had to do today uh, before now. Um, I just finished dinner about maybe half an hour ago, um, which is why I am now doing the grab bags, because if I don't do them now... They won't get done this weekend. And I want to get them done this weekend so that I can package them up, hopefully tomorrow, to get them out in the mail early next week. I'm hoping. How are you doing, Twilight's Eve? Sam? Matt? I hope you're all well. I hope you're all well. Let's get into this here. Ooh, look at that. We have fancy things. Ooh. Fancy things. We've, of course, got all of our wonderful patrons here. We've got Kairu Kairu, Twilight's Eve, uh, Tice G, Raphael, Viking, Tom, MTG Unpacked, Tyler B, Hunter Isis, Paws, uh, Heather, Broke Honky, Eric, uh, C, Gordon N, Connor, Jordan, Kitchen Fink, Travis H. Travis H is a new patron. Uh, welcome aboard, Travis. Glad to have you. Mana burn, also. You're, a, I think you're, I'm pretty sure you're a new one. I owe you two grab bags, don't I? I feel like I do. And Gav is also new. Do I owe you, did you already get your your first grab bag, mana burn? I think you did, didn't you? I got, I think I got it for you already. Sorry. Oh, I'm plowing through the rest of these names. Uh, Logan B, Father Frodo, Greg L, Sam, Kyle, Rick, Matt. You got last month's. Okay, sweet. I, I thought I pulled it for you. I just couldn't remember if I had pulled it off camera or not. Um, that's what, like, in my head I was like, did I pull it already? So both Gav and Travis signed up uh, at the end of May. Um, so they both are owed a grab bag for May, um, but then are also owed... A grab bag for June so that's why they're here and I have to remember to pull a second grab bag for both of them when we get to them hey Jonathan how's it going we got Matt S Kazan uh, Mike V Wolf Brad Carl Eric S Ken F Peter and Jonathan there you go that's everybody so we're just gonna kind of shuffle this bad boy up a bit we gotta put these two new guys in here, don't we? Sure do. I appreciate you being honest with me, Man of Room, too, and letting me know that you did indeed get your grab bag for the last one. Because my memory, not so great anymore. You know how it goes? So, um, we're gonna talk about what I'm doing with these in a moment. Let's just get everybody shuffled up here. How are you all doing? Keeping well, I hope. How's your weekend going? Things are crazy right now, uh, everywhere, not just because of the pandemic, but also uh, all of the protesting going on and everything, and rightfully so. Um, I apologize if I offend any of you, but uh, I am a supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement, so um, if that offends you, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it, because I'm not going to not support them, so... I, don't, I try not to make the channel too political, but uh, this is a thing that matters. It's a thing that matters. Um, and I'm always really, really bad with my words um, and conveying how I feel about things. Um, people of color have been treated just absolutely horribly for a very, very long time, and it still continues to this day, and it's time for a change. It's time for a change. 
We can't. We can't keep doing it. We can't keep the wheel of oppression spinning, essentially. It just can't. It can't happen. Something has to be done. And if the first step in that is essentially doing an entire re- reformation of the police force and all of that stuff, then it has to happen, right? I'm, you know, I'm not saying that I don't think that the police, you know, that there aren't good police officers out there that do a good job and that stand up for their communities. The problem is, is that all the ones that are out there that are bad, right? So, and don't give a good name to cops. And it's been said a thousand times, right? A few bad apples spoil the bunch, but if you have, you know, a thousand cops and only one of them's bad, but the other 999 don't report that one bad cop or do anything about that one bad cop, you have a thousand bad cops, right? So, it's very unfortunate that that's the case. But this is where we are. We must unite under the flag of nipples and beer. (laughs) This is the thing, Jonathan. It's like... We just need to... Make everybody feel welcome. Right? And equal. And... That has not been happening. So... Anyway. Enough... Enough of the politics. Please, I should say, sorry, not enough. Last thing. Please make sure you donate to any kind of local cause that is dealing with the protests. Bail money, funding of, uh, you know, people of colors, uh, small businesses, pieces of work, anything like that. There are a lot of great uh, artists and people who do a lot of good work for this community and the world that are people of color and they deserve your attention. So, you know, I, I have grown up with a privilege that I was so privileged that I didn't know I was privileged. And that is something that a lot of white people my age and younger have to deal with, right? You know, we grew up with the the blinders on, right? Um, and it's just... There's not much we can do about it. I, I, I shouldn't say that. It's not that there's not much we can do about it. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that that was the case. It's unfortunate that the blinders were put on us and that we had to grow up in a fashion where we didn't think anything was wrong and that nothing was happening and that everybody was happy 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 fun time right for everyone in North Dakota you have your own problems with cops getting killed almost every year and and like that's the thing Jonathan is it's like you know it's not to say that crime doesn't exist right and it's not to say that cops don't risk their lives in dangerous situations the problem is is that when you have a situation that is not dangerous and not violent, a lot of police officers these days are only trained to handle the situation in one way. And that's lethal force. And... It's just not right. It's not right. It's not right. Anyway. Enough, enough of, enough of the, of that and stuff. Hey Corbin, how's it going? The, the world is effed. I agree. The world is on fire and we've inherited it in that situation. Um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Okay. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Um, for those of you who are new here, uh, we are pulling the grab bags for our patrons who support the channel. Um, the grab bags are for basically anyone in my Patreon that are at one of my magic tiers or higher. I believe the lowest level is $8, and it goes up from there. Um, there are a bunch of things, um, in addition to that. So, if you're a patron for more than a month, essentially, at one of the tiers that states that you get a pull from the patron pile, 
you get a pull from this pile every month. This pile of red sleeves right here. This big old pile of cards. Okay, there's lots of stuff in here. We got a foil mind slaver. We've got a gifted aetherborn. Terror of Mount Velus. Elish Norn. Tithe Taker. Foil Funeral Charm with... I should say, the Foil Funeral Charm is with a Mana Tithe. The Laboratory Maniac. Dark Steel Mutation. Uh, Constellation Art Clothis, God of Destiny. Phyrexian Arena. Negate. Um, a set of Full Art Lands. Preordain. Mana Swift Sliver. Foil. Uh, Temporal Mastery. Nature's Lore. Is that a foil too? No, just regular. Buried Alive, Foil Blasting Station, Aura Shards, Foil Sundial of the Infinite, Foil Lantern of Insight with something else. What else is in here? Shardless Agent, another Temporal Mastery, Perforos God of the Forge, Foil Intruder Alarm, Alhamar Alhameritz Archive, Maelstrom, Maelstrom Archangel, with something else? No, just by itself. Foil Triskelion with something else? What is this? An Ark of Orozka? Or whatever it's called. Uh, we've got a Time Wipe promo. We've got Preordain. We've got Grand Architect. Foil Curse of Opulence. Foil Pyretic Ritual. Dark Depths. Mishra's Bobble, Vivian Arcbow Ranger, Enchanted Evening, Goblin Pile Driver, Counterspell, Debtor's Knell, Thran Dynamo, um, Norn's Annex, Cultivate, Eidolon of the Great Revel, Propaganda, Carnage Tyrant, Foil? Foil Carnage Tyrant? Are you Foil Carnage Tyrant? No, you're just regular. Okay. Just a, just a, just a regular... Just a regular Carnage Tyrant. Foil Paradox Haze. Birds of Paradise, another Foil Paradox Haze. Uh, Spell Tithe Enforcer Foil with something else. Uh, Selvala, Heart of the Wild. Uh, Hakan, Storm Galled Scourge. Another set of uh, Full Art Lands. Basilisk Collar, Assemble the Legion. Energy Field, uh, Eldrazi Monument, As Foretold. Foil Reaper King, Mar Queen Marchesa. Unclaimed Territory, Foil Leveler with something else, Supreme Verdict, Mystic Confluence, Foil Isimaru, uh, Recruiter of the Guard, Impact Tremors, Aurelia's Fury Foil with something else, Goblin Engineers, Sliver Hive Lord, and Curious Obsession. Yes. Hello, Raphael. Hello, Rick. Hello, Tom. Hope you're all doing well. Stop with the press depressing stuff. Time for cards. That's right. Need you some more EDH playables. Just tired from work? Yeah, man. I finally managed to be here for a live stream. Woo! You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this because it's... Uh, I'm going to move it up here. Uh, why you got to be like this, chat? Just, just show me this. There we go. That's better. And I can even like move it over so that I can see more chat. There we go. I'll happy to have. I'll be happy with any legendary creatures. Must build up your collection. Yeah. And like, how does everyone feel about uh, not only the spoilers that have come out of the reprints from Core Twenty One, uh, but also the rules change in Commander today, officially today, that Commanders now trigger their death triggers, like their deaths trigger abilities. So, like, when things die, when your commander dies, it triggers their death ability. Big change. Big change. Uh, what's, what's her name? Uh, Alendra the Dusk Rose or whatever. She went up in price by, like, a ridiculous amount of money. I don't even remember how much it was, but it's, like, some ungodly sum of money that she went up. What was that? It's, like... What was it? It's like the Dusk Rose or something like that? Dusk? Rose? Isn't that what it is? What is this? It's from... Ixalan? It's from Ixalan, right? Uh, standard... Pioneer... Ixalan?
Was it from this one, or was it from... Maybe it's from... Rivals Vixelon? Yeah. Alenda, the Dusk Rose. What's her price change? So... Before Theros came out, she was 8 bucks. As of today, she's $21. I think she's going for 30 bucks on TCG right now, or something like that. But crazy. Alenda, the Dusk Rose. Yeah, I typed in Dusk Rose and it wouldn't find it for whatever reason. Who knows? Who knows? Not me. I don't know. I, I, I choose to know nothing. I choose to know nothing. Hey, MTG Hermit, how's it going? Izoni will be a good commander now? Yeah, like, so basically all the commanders that have any kind of death trigger are now, like, great. They're now great. So, I... Uh, You think she'll spike a bit more? Yeah, it's a huge jump in price. Now the other thing too to note about it though is that it's not um it wasn't a jump from like eight bucks to like thirty dollars in the last like you know day, right? She went up to like about seventeen bucks like a couple of weeks ago. Now, whether that was some sort of leakage from the commander council rule I, who knows, right? I highly doubt it. But who knows, right? So the other thing too, right, is like you got to remember like the rules council for Commander. None of them are designers for the game, right? And And I think that's specific, at least for my understanding, they're not designers of the game. And the reason for that is so that there isn't that sort of collusion of, like, we have to remove we have to remove this rule because we're printing this card and we want it to be used as a commander. Like, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing, but who knows, right? Anyway, so Let's quickly talk about these packs right here. So these were graciously given to me by Mo. Okay. Um, and they were, he was like, do what you want with them um, for the patrons and that kind of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I did last time with these. Uh, and I'm going to open them up um, and add them to the patron pile. Or should I give them as extras? I don't know. Okay, so let's put it to a vote. You guys in chat. You're here. You're talking, right? As a patron, would you be okay with one card from a promo pack stamped? Of course. They're all stamped, right? Regardless of what it is. Or an alt art. Right? Would that be, would that be okay in the patron pile? Or, or... Hear me out. Would you rather a card be put into the patron pile that represents the entire pack? And so only one person has a chance to get the whole pack. Do you see what I'm saying? So two votes for extras, one vote for either is fine, both are fine. Okay, so Eric and Sam are on the same page as give the whole pack. Jonathan and, oh, and, sorry, and NG Hermit is entire pack. Raphael and Jonathan are on the put the cards in the pile. Okay, okay, okay. Tom's on the entire pack plan. Okay. Okay. Like, I want to do an entire pack, 
as one of the rewards, just so that it's like someone gets like a whole bunch of extra cards one one month. But like, I don't know. I kind of want to make it so that everybody gets something out of Moe's generosity. Do you know what I mean? And I mean, I know I can't make it. Not everybody can get it, right? Uh, because there's only, what, 12 cards, right? If you're going to do the whole pack, it's got to be for the grand prize only. So this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. So MTG Hermit's kind of like on, on what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I open this pack up, okay, and I put each card from it into the pile so that there's equal opportunity for everyone to get one of the cards out of the foil promo pack, okay? All right? I'll put the Ikoria pack, okay, as a full pack that can be got only from the grand prize pool because it has the possibility of the alternate art Godzilla cards in it, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? And then the Theros Beyond pack will put in to the pile as a full pack, just in the normal red pile. So one pack in the grand prize, one pack opened and shuffled into the pool, okay? And one pack represented by a single card in here that goes to only one person. What do you guys think of that? That spreads out the love a little bit, but also gives you the opportunity to win a whole pack. Okay. Everybody's on board with that plan? Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, okay. All right, well, let's do it then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a land here. Let me get a land here. Get, um, what have we got? An M, an M19 Island? Sure. Sure. Okay. And so this is going to be the, um, what did we say? Ikoria promo pack in the grand prize pool, right? And we said Theros Beyond in the red pile. Okay, so Theros promo pack. Okay, so this goes into the red pile. This is going to go into this pile. These sleeves, these four sleeves right here, are for this pack. Except that I only need three, right? Because it comes with a game code or some nonsense. Sure, um, that's fine. And that's going to be for... That's going to get open to go into there. And then we need one for one of these yellow sleeves. Do we have yellow sleeves? We do. Okay, and are our yellow sleeves double-sleeved? They are. Okay, so I gotta make sure that I get it all matched. We're doing this live. We're doing it live, everyone. I hope you enjoy. Doing it live. What color should this one be? Am I losing frames? No, I am not losing frames. What should we do? Oh, there he goes. Some nice Ravnica planes. That seems good. Return to Ravnica Plains. Okay, so then this one will be the Ikoria promo pack. Whoops. Promo pack. My chicken scratch. My goodness. Alright. Okay. So that goes there. That goes into there. And that goes into the grand prize pool. Boom. And that's this one. So this goes over here like so. This pack can go over here as well. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Well, let's open this. Let's open this and put these cards into, uh, into some sleeves. Right? Okay. This is our game code. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that off to the side and we'll figure it out. Uh, and by that I mean I'll put it in with my other piles and then we'll figure it out. Look at that bad boy right there. That is a foil stamped sacred foundry. We'll take it, right? That's finding a nice sleeve for sure. Ooh, foil fox. That's a standard ready card, isn't it? 
Core 21 is going to make a busted standard, I agree. Teferi's going to run rampant. It's going to be ridiculous. There you go. Nice foil alt art flourishing box. And a, <laughs> a foil stamped classification. My goodness. What a card. What a silly card. All right. We don't need this red sleeve. Okay, so there we go. So these four cards are getting added to the pile. Let's go like this. And just kind of go like this. There we go. Boom. Alright, now I have no idea where they are. Teferi with all that awesome reprint like Ugin. Man... The reprints are making me want to buy a whole bunch of Core 21 because the reprints that they're putting into it are actually, like, good reprints, like dollar bill reprints, like Ugin and Grim Tutor and Azusa. Or whatever. Az Azua. Whatever, however you pronounce it. Right, like those cards are, are dollar bills. They're just printing dollar bills there. The problem I'm having is that Double Masters comes out like a month after. A month after. I don't have the money for all this stuff. I don't have the money for all of this stuff. So I'm probably going to end up cutting down my Core 21 purchasing by quite a bit. I'm probably going to cut it down by half. Uh, which means I'll probably only buy three boxes instead of a case. Oh yeah, Bane Slayer Angel too. Why? Why they gotta be like this? Why they gotta make a core set that's not a core set and then in fact is actually just like a reprint master set? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's gonna be great for drafting. It's gonna be phenomenal for drafting. And it's gonna drop the price of those cards like crazy. It's going to drop the price of those cards like crazy. Double Masters is problematic for me, Sam, because the cost of the box right now, their pre-order price, is $300 American for a box. Well, that equates to about like f almost $500 Canadian for a box, and that doesn't include import fees. That's just straight conversion of the dollar. So, I'm looking like... Like they're talking like I would I would I would be surprised to be able to find a box of double masters for less than five hundred and fifty dollars retail in a shop on launch day. If it's less than that, great. But I don't think it's going to be less than that. And that's an absurd price. Like put it this way, one box of double masters could buy you two, maybe almost three boxes of core twenty one. Well, yeah, that's the real problem, Sam, is we have to hope that the price will go down for Double Masters, but the chances of that happening are probably not high. All right, we've shuffled up both piles. We have this pile, we have this pile, everything's ready. Let's get into it. It's been half an hour. It's time to get started. Greg. I gotta talk to Greg. His last grab bag came back to me. I guess they're not wanting to accept mail. So, Greg, you're walking away with a terror, terror of Mount Velos. There you go. There you go. 320 CAD at Valet Decor in Montreal. So, wait, 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 wait. 401 Games has them for 350 That is That can't be right, though. 350 Canadian is absolutely absurd. Like, that can't be right. Like, if you're looking at the price of it on Amazon for the box in American dollars, it, it $350 doesn't even cover the conversion to the Canadian dollar.
Three twenty. Yeah, but still, even three twenty nine without the box topper still doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't cover anywhere near. Like even four hundred. Four hundred Canadian is not right. Anyway, you didn't miss much. Pause, except for me. Bitching and complaining. <laughs> enchanted evening is going to Joseph. Congratulations, Joseph. Enjoy your enchanted evening. All right, who's next? Walking away with that foil paradox haze. It's Logan. Logan, thank you very much for your patronage. There's your pull for the month. Blasting station foil going to Brad. There you go, Brad. Congratulations. It's a good one. Who's next? How do you get a box without the topper? The, the, the store removes the topper from the box before selling it to you. Like, they remove it in front of you. They, they open the box, take the topper out, hand you the box. Nature's lore. Going to Travis. There you go, Travis. Congratulations. Next up, we've got Ken. Ken's walking away with that Pharos promo pack. Holy moly, Ken. There you go, man. I'm not even going to open it. You just get it. Right? I mean, I could open it. Should I open it? I should probably open it, right? So that I'm not shipping sealed product. Ain't that illegal? Uh, uh, pfft. technically, no, Jonathan. Technically, it's not illegal because, um, they sell loose packs, right? So they're selling you loose packs. They're just selling you a whole box of loose packs. And when you open up a box to sell loose packs, you don't give the people the topper. They don't get a chance to, to, to get it with the box right let's open it up but you will get the code too ken you'll get the code as well so we'll make sure that that comes to you um so that way you have it for your arena so there's your code <laughs> what how that's really random and funny so we got a foil Sacred Foundry stamped out of the other pack we opened to put into the patron pile. And then here we got a Sacred Foundry stamped. And then we got a Thrill of Possibilities alt art. Very cool looking. And Heliod's Intervention. So there you go, Ken. Congratulations. I'm going to take that and just, uh, I guess I use it as a divider. So there's your that. And there's that. And that goes there like so. There it is. All right. Ooh, that alt art in the gate. Going to Matthew. Matthew W. There you go, Matthew. A spell tithe enforcer with, with, not by itself, with a martyr's curse. Both almost a dollar a piece, so that's why they're together. Is going to Bro Conky. There you go, Bro Conky. You get some nice little white cards to go with all of your blue red decks. Right, you play white, right? Ooh, there's that flourishing fox foil that we saw. It's going to Hunterissus. Congratulations. There you go. Now you got a nice little cycler. Who's up next? They're getting a temporal mastery. It's Kairu Kairu. Congratulations, Kairu Kairu. Nice little time to take some extra turns. Next up, assemble the Legion. Going to Jordan. There you go, Jordan. It's time for you to go Boros. That's what this is all about. It's time to make all the tokens. You want squirrel tokens? You can have squirrel tokens, but you gotta make humans too. So you're now you're playing what? Uh, that's... Uh, uh, Naya, right? Naya. My god, my brain. My brain was like, no, I don't know what that's called. Why are you making me know what three colors is called? Father Frodo walking away with a nice preordain. There it is. There it is. And uh, Phyrexian Arena going to Danny Sixstring. Congratulations, Danny Sixstring. Danny Sixstring is not supposed to get a pull from the pile, but I left his name in there, and so that's my mistake. So there you go, Danny Sixstring. You're getting a Phyrexian Arena. Tom! Tom's walking away with a Basilisk collar. I think I'm actually going to add the, the patron pile pull to that tier that Danny's in anyway. So let's, let's just go with that. We've got Aura Shards and Kitchen Fink. Uh, just because, I mean, like, he, he's... 10 bucks on a pack, right? It's a random pack. The packs are anywhere from, you know, $5 to $10, so I'm just going to give it to him. Yeah, Kitchen Fink's walking away with that. Uh, Aura Shards. 
Hakan going to Gordon. There you go, Gordon. Gordy boy. All right. Next up, ooh, Recruiter of the Guard going to Jonathan. There you go, Jonathan. You said you wanted some Commander playable cards. Well, there you have it. Very nice Commander playable card. It's not usually my colors, but I'll figure it out. I know you will. I know you will. I want to see it at the next uh, MTG Fest that we can be at together. I want you to bring a Boros deck to play against me in Commander. That's what I want. I'm going to be playing Commander at the next Magic Fest probably exclusively. Um, although I'll probably dabble a bit in some Sealed if there's a new set that's come out at the time. If we even get events again, who knows. Tice is walking away with that Curse of Opulence. Congratulations, Tice. There you go. We've got the Foil Sundial of the Infinite going to Eric S. There you go, Eric. Congratulations. I know it's no Ether Tide Whale. I know it's no Ether Tide Whale, okay? I know it's no Ether Tide Whale, okay? But there you go, all right? It's just, it's in the pile for you. Now you're getting it regardless. You're welcome, okay? Twilight's Eve. Walking away with that foil, Aurelia's Fury, along with a Cargan Dragon Lord. See, I put those together. See, I try to match up the ones where that's like there's two cards because one's not quite a dollar, right? I try to match them up. White card draw, uh, white with card draw come uh, M21. Yeah, sounds good. Ooh, Dark Depths. Dark Depths going to Matt S. Congratulations, Matt S. There you go. Boom. Boom, baby. Mistress Bobble going to pause. Pause. There you go, man. Congratulations. You got yourself a nice little bobble there. I have I have put those dang vampire tokens into your bag this time so that they won't get mixed. They won't get mixed. I have a whale for him, too. Have him email me. <laughs> All right, pause. Sure. I mean, like, I don't think he actually wants the whales. He just likes to harass me about them, so he gets it. That's how it is. Darksteel Mutation. Going to Peter S. Congratulations, Peter. There you go. Darksteel Mutation, a great little card. Especially in Commander. Maelstrom Archangel. Going to Kyle. There you go, Kyle. There it is. There it is. Perforos, God of the Forge. Going to Heather. Congratulations, Heather. I hope you enjoy. How late are you? Not very late. You're still good. We haven't even pulled your extra card yet. Mind, Mind Slaver. Going to Connor M. Going to Connor M. There you go, Connor. Enjoy that. It's a foil mind slaver, I should say. Preordain again. Going this time to Tyler B. Congratulations, Tyler B. There you are. Next up. Ooh. Constellation Art Clothis going to Mike V. There you go, Mike. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff. Foil Funeral Charm with a Mana Tithe in behind it there. Going to Kazan. There you go, Kazan. Hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah, you're about. We're about forty. We're about forty minutes in to the stream, where I'm. I've been recording for thirty nine minutes and thirty seconds. But the first thirty minutes of the show was me just, uh, you know, gabbing away. The first ten minutes of the show was talking about um, the political nonsense that's going on right now. Not nonsense, but the political stuff that is very uh, near and dear to. Uh, my thoughts at this time um, and the stuff that should be talked about which regardless of you know whether it you like it or not I'm sorry but you know how it goes Gavin my goodness Gavin is one of our newest patrons he just signed up in May um, he's getting two grab bags today to make up for the one that he didn't get for May and the one he is owed for June and he walks away with a Savala look at that congratulations Gav w you're welcome and welcome to the Patreon all right, we got Tony's walking away with a nice as foretold. Hey, Neil, how's it going? It's going well. It's going well. We're just getting into the extra pulls at the moment, and then we will be moving on to the actual grab bags. Propaganda going to Mana Burn. There you go, Mana Burn. Enjoy, enjoy. Hey, there's MTG Unpacked. And Bob. What's up, guys? How's it going? We've got a foil leveler with, uh, what do you got with you? A Deadly Tempest. Now, Deadly Tempest, in its original printing, is like $3 or $4 or something like that. And Leveler, in its original printing, in foil, is like a bunch as well. So I put them together. Now, the foil Leveler and the Deadly Tempest from uh, the reprint of Master or Mystery Boosters 
are both around a dollar a piece, so that's why they're together. So you, your package is over a dollar, and it's Eric. Eric C is walking away with that. So there you go, Eric. You're getting two cards, a nice foil leveler and a Deadly Tempest, which is a great card, by the way. Deadly Tempest is a great little commander card. All right, walking away with a set of full art lands is MTG Unpacked. There you go, un Unpacked. Congratulations. You get to walk away with uh, this right here. Not that. You don't get that business card. Sorry. There you go. Plains, island, swamp, mountain, forest, and a waste. There it is. So there you go. That's all yours. Congratulations. And next up, ba boom, foil intruder alarm. Go into Viking MTG. There it is. Very, very nice. Oh, very nice. Ooh, Carnage Tyrant. Carney T. Go into Raphael. There you go, Raphael. Enjoy your new big dino boy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Foil Pyretic Ritual going off to Carl. There you go, Carl. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy. And next, we have a Thran Dynamo going to Sam. There it is. We're down to two folks. We're down to two folks, I think. If you haven't seen your name yet, get excited. Get excited. Ooh, Ghost Unit. You were so close. You were so close. You showed up late, but you almost got the win this this month. But you do walk away with a sweet goblin pile driver. Actually, one of my favorite goblins. Uh, so this is actually um, the GoPro. I have to use the GoPro for doing the grab bags because the other camera I use for my normal recordings, which has a better focus on the cards and the table, um, but has like a dimmer color to it, um, doesn't have a wide enough shot without the camera being super high up on the table um, to be able to capture essentially the space needed to show off the box for the grab bags. Um, and even this, you can see, like, I mean, you can see the width here, no problem. And you can see this is the top of the box. But this here says grab. Right here at the bottom of the screen says grab. But it actually says bags underneath it, like right here. And you can't read it. And so there's actually about, I don't know, this much space of box that's off camera. Everything looks brighter? Yeah, the GoPro has like a, a very much uh, like a brighter uh, camera and color scheme. Goblin Guide is your favorite? Po Goblin Piledrive is one of my favorites because it just absolutely just dumpsters people who are playing blue. And that's what I enjoy because I don't like blue. <laughs> All right, we don't need to pull off this pile anymore, do we? We certainly don't. All right. So that goes there. Who's our lucky winner? Who's our lucky winner? Who's who's our lucky winner? It might be Rick. It might be Rick. No, I just I just sorry, it wasn't Rick. I I didn't I, I forgot to put Rick's card into the pile. No, it's Rick. Rick, congratulations. You are the lucky grand prize winner this month. There's some spicy stuff for you to get out of this pile. You could even win a deck box made by our very own Rick C. <laughs> Quick question, not to take away from the stream, but did you happen to get anyone, any more of the cards you needed for your Conspiracy 2 binder since the last cookie video? No, I haven't picked up anything I need yet. Um, I, I generally don't, Neil. Uh, so, like, anything that you saw that was missing is still missing. Because I, I generally try not to pick up um, the singles. Uh, I generally try to crack it, personally, right? But, like, that's just me. That's just a weird thing that I have. I'm like, I must collect them. I must open them myself. And it's, 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 it's not, like, something I've done. I, I bought a few cards for my Ultimate Masters collection because I was missing, like, Sigarda. And I was like, I'm not going to go out and buy a whole bunch more Ultimate Masters packs just to try and get a Sigarda. So I just bought it. <laughs> right? But I haven't bought singles in a very long time. All right, Rick. Do you want me to roll a die or do you want to pick? 
I want that box. I want that box. What's in the box, man? Yep. I don't know, it's just like a... It's one of those things. A lot of collectors, uh, Neil. So four, which is this one. This is the one you want. Uh, a lot of collectors will just buy the cards because they're trying to collect the set, Neil, right? Like, they're not like the, I need to open it myself to collect it, right? I, I think that's the part what I was meaning is kind of weird. And, and I, I mean, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's different than what most people would do. You're such a pack cracking weirdo, right? I know. I'm such a weirdo. All right. So four. Four is the one you want. Okay. So let's see what you missed. Okay. You didn't get the Cabal Coffers. You didn't get the Time Spiral. You didn't get the Ikoria Promo Pack. So it's a half and half chance that you got the deck box. Oh! Look at that. There's the deck box. So instead, you get a nice Mythic Pack from Ravnica Allegiance. I've got to move some things around here because it's underneath a stack of things. How awkward is that? The answer is very awkward. Uh, uh, don't fall over. No. No. Ah. All right. All right, Rick. Since you're here, do you want to pick? There are four left. I don't know what any of them are. I mean, like, I can tell you. I can tell you what they are by looking at the labels, but I wasn't going to. Because I don't want you to know what you pick. I just want you to pick a number. Four again, so one, two, three, four. The one on the bottom. Or do you mean fourth on the right? Just, just so that I'm clear what we're agreeing to here. Front, front to back. But, like, that would be like this. So, like, front to back. Right? Because I have it fanned this way. So, top to bottom. Front to back. Yes, on the bottom. Okay. The bottom one. Back in the box you go, cards. I should probably, like, leave them out, shouldn't I? I should probably leave them out of this box. Let's just put them over here. That seems like a good spot for them. And then you can go back into your place of holding other things stable over there. All right. Do you want me to tell you which one you got? Do you want me to tell you which one you got or do you want it to be a surprise? Because I've read the label now, so I know what it is. Alright, you've got a slime bind. I'm always confused. Yeah, it's just, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do, I'm always confused. Spike Wheel Acrobat. Has the officer. Noxious Gurudan. Gurgadon. Sylvian uh, Sylvan Brush Strider. Grell Locket. Frenzied Aranx, Orzov Locket, Deface, Zerta Goblin. It's actually, my arms aren't burnt at all. The camera just has too much red hue in it. Like, my arms do look burnt, I agree with you. <laughs> but it's, they're definitely not burnt. Uh, Arc, Archway Angel. Oh, oh, oh! I saw the rare. The rare's a good rare. Stomping Ground. There you go. Nice little shock land. That's pretty sweet. And let me tell you, Stomping Ground, very fitting for the Planeswalker that you got. Because the Planeswalker that you got is Domri. Domri, Chaos Bringer. Here he is. Look at that bad boy. Look at him. Look at the foiling on that too, eh? Just gorgeous. So there he is. Add a red or a green mana. Uh, and if it is spent on a creature, 
it gains Riot. Or minus three, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal up to two creature cards from among them and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Or minus eight, and you get an emblem with, at the beginning of each end step, create a 4-4 red and green beast creature token with trample. Oh, all right, it looks like me. Lots of shocks today. Oh, and look, you get the emblem. That's pretty sweet. I'm really glad that they did that. I'm really glad that they put the emblems in with the walkers. Like, they obviously did it intentionally, right? Let's just go ahead and pop that into a perfect fit there so that he doesn't get damaged. Look at that guy right there. Super cool, Rick. I hope you don't own uh, this yet. That's all yours, man. And you got a sweet shock to go with it. Good stuff. That was a good pack. That was a good pack. All right, and that should be. Let's uh, let's let's do this. Put that there like that. Put that there like that. Put that there like that. Put these away like so. Boom! Flip this bad boy over like this, and then we get into here. All right. Who is ready? Who is ready for some grab bags? Grab bags. Yes, congratulations, Rick. Congratulations. Thank you for your support, man. It's been it's been a long time you've been supporting, and so I really appreciate it. Greg, welcome to that terror of Mount Velus. Alright, Greg. Let's see what we find for you. Boom! How about dispossess? And a veteran war leader. All right. Always ready for some grabbing. No, no, no. Stop. This one. Lazatep Reaver. Wings of the Guard. I Blight Assassin. Confront the Unknown. Awe for the Guilds. And Petalmain Baku. Your foil is a foil dispersal technician, and your common or uncommon for a dollar or more is a Zulaport Cutthroat. There you go. Zulaport Cutthroat's a nice little card. Great for your aristocrats decks. Great with uh, Glenelendra, or whatever, not a Glenelendra, uh, a Al Alendra, the du or Alenda, Alenda the Duskrose. Yeah, works great with her. We've got Joseph walking away that enchanted evening. Joseph, I hope you're having yourself an enchanted evening. Let's see what your grab bag is. Ba-boom! Baral's expertise. And a Triskaidekaphobia. I hope you like the number 13, Joseph, because you're going to want to figure out how to get there. We got a Furnace Whelp, a Spore Frog, a Feral Invocation, a Null Caller, a Rise of Eagles, and a Sea Monster from 9th Edition. Good old white border card right there. And your foil is an Angelic Page. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more? A Journey to Nowhere. Very nice. Very nice removal spell there. Very good. Very, very good. Hey, you. Things. Stop sticking together. These bags are just like, ah, we stick together. Ah, we're like one co cohesive unit. And I'm like, stop. Just... Can't you just be individuals? Stop conforming. Bags. Welcome to the dictatorship of Mr. B, I guess. Stop. Just, just stop. We've got uh, Logan B. Paranox Haze Foil. Alright. Let's see. Mm -mm. Ooh, Carrie Zev. Skyship Raider. And a Ruins of Orin Reef. Conviction. Ba Ballot Broker. Without Weakness. Ornithopter from Mirrodin. Spectral Grasp. And Invading Manticore. And your foil. Ba boom! Hey, it's a meandering tower shell. No, just no. Just no. Mind Crank. Just no. Just no. Well, listen, Jonathan, then can you do something about these bags, please? 
get them to like stop sticking to each other so that it's easier for me and my life doesn't have to be as difficult as it is at the moment. Brad walking away with that foil blasting station and two grab bags. Two grab bags. Let's see. A gloom surgeon. It's a cool looking card. Derpy turtle. And a spire of industry. That's a nice one. Okay, we got a reckless charge. We've got a catalog. We've got an Everbark Shaman. We've got Mark of the Vampire. We've got Irresistible Prey. And we have Cowed by Wisdom. And your foil is a Ill Forgotten Gohe, which is a rare. So you get an extra rare there, Brad. Congratulations. And a Grizzly Fate. Good old Grizzly Fate. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's grab bag number one. Grab bag number two for Brad. Boom. Ooh, a Dithmist Raptor. Little mythic right there. There you go, Brad. Congratulations. And a Sahili's Artistry. Along with Arrest, Doomed Traveler, Bur Burrenton Shieldbearers, Negate, Open the Gates, and Vampire Opportunist. And your foil is an Urbog Uprising, or Urborg Uprising, I should say. Urborg Uprising. And a Daze, as your commoner on Home of Bellarmore. What do you do to them that they don't want to listen? I don't know, man. I, I probably disregard them and don't pay enough attention to them. That's probably the issue. That's my guess. Neglect. Just, just, just years and years of neglect. Right? Travis. Okay, now Travis is a new patron. Welcome, Travis. You get two grab bags this month with your nature's lore as your extra pull. So let's pull Travis's two grab bags. First grab bag, an Archfiend of Ifnir. Very nice. Good cycling card right there. And a Midnight Entourage. We've got a Milliken. We've got a Prickly Boggart. A Witch's Oven. Good old Witch Oven combo. Dramatic Rescue. Uncovered Clues. And Aki Drillmaster. And your foil is a Ravenous Intruder. And your commoner on commoner with dollar more is... This one? Boom! Might of Old Crosa. Did I touch them in a no-no spot? If by if by a no-no spot you mean like did I try to like pull them apart aggressively, then yes. They are they are not old, unfortunately. They're new new bags. Ooh, look at that! A blooming marsh right there. Very nice. That's a good hit. Ooh, and a sage of ancient lore. Alright, time for some sweet werewolf black green ramp nonsense. Tar snare, hunt the weak. Plummet. Guilt Grove Stalker. Oh, Phalanx Formation. You ruined it. And a Sky Snare Spider. You ruined it, Phalanx Formation. How dare you? And Explore. Foil Explore. Okay, can we get another green? Oh, Zulaport Cutthroat. Well, I mean, it's black, I guess. So really, only that, that one white card was like, hey, look at me, guys. I'm hanging out with the cool kids. And the green and black cards were like, ugh. Oh, God. Why? Well, who invited him? I don't know, man. Just just go with it. What's happening here? Huh, let's, let's not reveal Ken's code. Because there is a code there. Alright, Ken's walking away with that Theros pack. So we'll put you like this, and then that goes off to the side. So there you go, Ken. You got a, a stamped Sacred Foundry. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, and then a bunch of other stuff there. A code for Arena. Very nice. Let's pull your grab bag. But boom A channel! Congratulations! You got a card that was printed in Iconic Masters, and everyone went, went, Why? Why did they reprint that card? Padim, Council of Innovation. Remember when everyone was so angry that they printed Tree of Perdition or Tree of Redemption or whatever the crap it was in like Masters 25 and then now it has a higher price tag than Channel does? Remember that? I remember that. Demolish, Doom Traveler, Garen Briggs Squire, Dinosaur Hunter, Ephra, Ephra's Radiance, and Oppressive Will. And your foil is a Shaman of the Pack. And a boom A Serum Visions. Channel, yes, channel is also banned in Commander. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But listen, Ken got a bunch of other good stuff there. Channel, 
unfortunately banned, but at least it's a tradable card, I guess. It's, tra it's a tradable card. It sees play in other formats. Not that much, but it's... Listen, they reprinted it for a reason. Matt! Matt W. Walking away with that sweet alt art negate or, like, alternate border negate. Really loved pulling that worthless tree at the time. It, my uh, Man, I remember seeing, like, my LGSs. We got a Broodmate Dragon and a Niv-Mizzet. Dragons, here we come. I remember seeing my LGSs. Uh, Rune Snag, uh, Knight of the Skyward Eye, uh, Jangling Automaton, Fire Cannon Blast, Death Denied, uh, Infest, Foil, Mog Fanatics, and Common Arc, Common Dollar or More. Ooh, Mystical Dispute. There you go. Um, I remember seeing my LGS is like having them like taped around, like around the edges. So it was like up the, up the edge across the top and then down the other side of like their bookshelf that was like behind the cash register and i was like uh and then the mid one right in the middle at the top was foil and i was like why did you tape those there and they're like because they're useless and i was like right now sure sure i don't get don't get me wrong they're ta they're they're a completely useless card at the moment but you never know what's gonna happen and the, the price went up right the price went up of those trees so i mean like I bet they're kicking themselves that they taped a foil tree to the bookshelf now, aren't they? Free Jam Regent. And uh, Pernacious Deed. Yeah, um, a lot of a lot of stores did the... Hey, look, the Wanderer. A lot of stores did the whole, like, if you open up a, a pack from our store and get a tree, you can trade in the whole pack and we'll give you another pack. Uh, Absorb Vis and Chartooth Cougar. Dire Fleet Interloper. Bone Splinters, and Leap of Flame, and your foil, Boom Cunning Survivor, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more, is a Freed from the Real. There it is. There you go, Matt. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Boom. If it can't be played in Commander, I don't care for it. <laughs> well, I mean, is that a thing? I need all of you out there in chat land right now and patrons, maybe leave me a note or a comment or something somewhere and let me know. Do you want me to go through this box and remove anything that is banned in Commander? Regardless of its price tag. I will do it. It will take a long time, but I will do it. <laughs> Bro Conkey's walking away with that Spell Tithe Enforcer that is paired up with that, I think it's like the, yeah, the Miter's, uh, Martyr's Cause. That seems like way too much work. Listen, it's worth it. That sounds tedious, so no. <laughs> Divine Deflection. Okay, but do you want me to not add anything to the box moving forward that is banned in Commander? Divine Deflection, and a Shambling Vent. Because I can do that. That's a lot easier. A Heavy Arbalist. Clutch of Currents. Wirewood Guardian. Pacifism. Crozen Druid. And Kitsune Bonesetta. Did I pick up the Summer Super do uh, Drop Bundle? Um, I did not. I did not. I know that MTG Unpacked did. Um, I did not. Uh, Sargata's Aid Foil. Look at that. That's a foil. Uh, rare. That's actually worth some money. That's pretty good. Sweet. And we got a Counterspell. There you go, Bro Conky. Very nice. Sargata's Aid is a very good card. I remember when I saw it printed and I was like, this card seems good. Because it's like, what, one mana or something like that? What is it? Yeah, it's one mana uh, enchantment. That says, you may cast aura and equipment spells as though they had flash. And whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach it to target creature you control. Yeah, I didn't buy... I'm not buying any more secret layers. 
I'm just not doing it. I'm not buying any more. Because the ones that I did buy, the quality of the cards are just so atrocious that I'm not buying any more of them. Um, my gods bundle came, and before I even opened them, they were tacos. So I'm just... I can't... I can't justify spending the money on them if they're going to come like that. It's just not worth it. Flourishing Fox. Going to Hunterissus. And we've got a Hazaret's Favor. A Noblis of War. We've got a Dragon Fodder. A Strangling Spores. A Frozen Solid. A Shock. A Makeshift Battalion. And an Into the Fray. And we've got a Foil Plague Witch. And your common or uncommon dollar or more is a Jetaxian Probe. Very nice. Very, very nice. There you go, Hunterissus. Congratulations. Thank you for your patronage. I hope you enjoy your grab bag for this month. There it is. Who's next? Who is next? It's Kairu Kairu walking away with that temporal mastery. Mm, boom. Nephilia Moondrakes. Or Nephalia Moondrakes. Oracle's Vault. Very cool. Very cool. What is this? Patreon content? Madness. Free Wind Equinaut, Choking Tethers, Thought Courier, Hello Stephen Furos, uh, Fur I'm really bad at pronunciation and you know that. I'm just going to call you HPG. <laughs> Glory Seeker, Voyaging Seder, Take Into Custody, Thought Courier, and your foil is a Commune with the Gods. I'd have no content with patrons, right? I think I you mean without. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, there's the correction. I was like, I read it and I went, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And, I, and then I read it again and I went, wait a minute. He means without. He means without patrons. That's right. Without patrons, you'd have no content. I agree with that statement. Kyra, Kyra, there it is. Boom. Congratulations. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. Jordan. Walking away that Assemble the Legion. Here we go, Jordan. Here we go, Jordan. Ready? Boom. Merchant's Dockhand. And, ba-boom, a Voltaic Rig. Okay, okay. Artifact. Cancel. Wizard Mentor. Reeve Soul. Hero, Hero's Bane. Vivian's Grizzly. And a Shriek Diver. Your foil is a Eel Umbra. Very nice. Oh! And a Scrib Ranger. There you go. Scrib Ranger is a pretty sweet card. We are here to help, Unpacked. We uh, Unpacked and myself very much appreciate it, Eric. We de we definitely do. So thank you so much for your support. If you came here from Unpacked, thank you, Eric. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Unpacked, for sending your patrons here. Father Frodo. And uh, getting that preordain. Father Frodo, of course, has a whole bunch of products sitting here at my house that he had me open for him that I'm waiting to send to him, but the mail in Russia is still halted. <laughs> Father Frodo, tell your country to get their shit together. <laughs> we got Beck and Call. We got, ooh, Gonti's Aether Heart Mythic from Aether Revolt right there. There it is. We've got a Psychotic Fury. Hey, that's actually worth some money. Look at that. Kingfisher, Vengeful Dead, Mist Intruder, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pisty Fist Cyclops. Sorry, that's just I'm, I'm I don't know what came over me. <coughs> I'm sorry. Woo. Oh, look at that foil, faithless looting. Lucky, lucky. Maybe they'll unban it. They won't. All right. MTG Unpacked. Have yourself a wonderful evening. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Arcane Denial. Ooh. Well, I appreciate it, Eric. Thank you for thank you for coming over here from there. From MTG Unpacked. Solid dude. Speaking of MTG Unpacked, now that he's left, I can talk about him. Right? Now that he's left, I can talk about him. He and I filmed an episode of Kraken for a Cause today. So, get ready for that. 
It's not coming out this weekend, but it will be out next weekend. Because I have to edit it still. There is one coming out tomorrow. Um, I was joined by another guest. Um, so that's coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, we've got a Danny six string walking away to that Phyrexian arena. Now Danny gets a random pack from Mo, uh, which I have over there. So we'll do Danny at the end once I can put the top back on this box and uh, get everybody sorted out here. Uh, we've got Tom. Tom's walking away with that Basilisk collar. All right, Tom. But boom, collective effort. All right. The effort cards were a lot of, or the collective cards, I should say, were a lot of fun. Ooh, there you go. There's a nice little uh, legendary black-green card. Gerard. Or Jared. Gerard. Woolly Loxodon. Soul Shepherd. Stream of Unconsciousness. Stave Off. Goblin Gathering. And Charmed Stray. Has any of my patrons bought the $2,000 patron level yet? No. No, they have not, Stormcrow. Uh, flight. Foil Flight. Uh, let me tell you right now, so that $2,000 patron level, actually, uh, I get nothing out of it. Um, but it helps support Mo, Mo's Magic. Uh, because basically I go and buy one of every pack from his store, which will come out to somewhere around the range of $2,000. Uh, because he has that many packs. It's an absurd amount of packs. Um, if you have seen it on the channel, I did do it in a series uh, where I opened one of every pack. How much is the random pack from Moz Patron Tier? It's $10. Um, it's $10. Bucks. Um, and it's a random pack of Magic the Gathering that I pick up from Mo. Um, that is essentially anywhere from approximately $6 to $10. Um... And a few of them are over 10 And the reason I did that is because I got I bought a few that were over $10 and a few that were, like, under 7-ish. Because I was like, I need a variety of packs. And I, I, I don't, but I don't want to be, like, charging you $10 for, like, a $5 pack. Do you know what I mean? So I tried to not get standard packs. They were all packs that are stuff that's, like, older, right? We got a nature's lore here. Now, um, who is this going to? Tom, I want to let you know. Okay, this nature's lore is worth uh, a little bit more money um, to me than it might be in paper because it's from my personal collection, which is why it's a little beat up. Okay, it's a little beat up. It's not near mint. You can see the edging on here. Okay, just so you're aware. Okay, the edging on this has got a little bit of wear on it. I would say that this is probably probably moderately to heavily played. Okay. The, even the back corner here has got a little bit of love on it, okay? But even in that condition, it's still over $2, okay? So I hope you're okay with that, Tom. Um, if you're not, please speak up, and I will pull another card for you. I have no problem with that. But it does have a sp special place in my heart because it came from my personal collection of when I was collecting cards back in Ice Age. That's right. You're getting a card from me that I opened as a tiny wee little boy. What's the case of cases level? What? Jared. What's the... I don't have a case of cases level, Bob. I don't think. Kitchen Fink is walking away with that sweet aura shards. Aura shards, great little card. And walking away with a Devil's Playground, a Ro uh, Ronus's Last Stand, High Spire Infusion, Ho House Guild Mage, Order of the Golden Cricket, Mighty Leap, Dusk Mantle Operative, Vraska's Finisher, and a Foil Plummet with your common or uncommon dollar or more. Hey, it's okay, Tom. It's okay. I know. I know there's going to be delay. Um, relentless rats. There you go. All right. I'm glad that you're cool with it because I found it in my collection and then I and I didn't know how much it cost. And then I scanned it and it was like it was like four dollars and I was like four dollars. What? And I was like, oh, maybe that's near mint. And it was. It was near mint. It was four bucks. Um.
pallet of magic boxes for 10 grand no no bob no do you know why do you know why bob because a a pallet of magic boxes at that tier would take me forever to open it would take me forever to open and the shipping to get it to whoever bought it would be absurd and I would have to figure out a ridiculous way of like getting the cards packaged properly so that they don't get damaged in transit. And then I would pay like probably over $150 just to mail it. Learn from experience. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, the delay is there for a reason. That's why when I ask a question, um, when you answer, if you can like state like essentially what you're answering, like describe it more than just giving like a one word response of like, yes or no. It's very, uh, I appreciate it a lot. A palette of art appreciation. How long it would take to open? Well, Bob, so like a palette, so like I've done a, a case in one sitting in about an hour and a half. Um, and that's with, like, not being fast about it. Like, the thing is, is, like, I like to go through the uncommons. I like to take my time and ramble. If I was literally just opening up an entire, like, palette of cases, I would probably rip through it to the rare and then discard the rest of the cards into a big stack. Um, so... My whole collection of magic for one million dollars. I mean, my collection is not worth a million dollars, so I mean, like... If someone wants to be crazy enough to buy my entire collection for a million bucks, sure. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I guess I could put that tier on there. I mean, I'll take a million dollars. Just a pallet tier. Don't even worry about it. What's a pallet? You know, a pallet. Let's just ship them a big wooden pallet, and that's all they get? That's what you mean, right, Sam? <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Gordon walking away with that Hakon. Good old Hakon. And we've got a fated retribution and a Sphinx of the Chimes. And you've got Sylvan Might, Menagerie Liberator, Lis Alana Bowmaster, Guardian of Solitude, Orazov Racketeers, and Heartfire. Foil. Foil Conduit of Storms, a nice foil flip card from Eldritch Moon. Your common or uncommon dollar more is a Scrib Ranger. There you go. Look at that. A little Scribby. A little Scrib Boy. A little Scrib Fairy Guy. A little Scribby Dib. A little Scribby Dib Dub. Dibby Dib Doob. Jonathan, walking away with that recruiter of the guards. Do it for the whales. We've got Intrepid Hero. Man, Intrepid Hero takes me back. Intrepid Hero was, like, one of the first rares where I just, like, absolutely abused it against my friends because they were, like, we were just playing Kitchen Table Magic and we were playing around, like, I think it was, like, 7th edition, 8th edition. And so they were playing decks that were, like, just running craw worms and stuff. And so I would just, like, throw three or four copies of this card into my deck and just be like, what you got over there? Play a big thing? It's dead. And they're like, stop that. And I'm like, no. Make me. Well, I don't want to use my removal on that. It's a 1-1. It's a, it's a one -one. Yeah, but it kills your big things. Yeah, but then you're going to just play a big thing that I wish I would have had my removal for. I'm like, well, that's just how this game works. <laughs> that's just how this game works. Stency of Bloodhall. There it is. Dreamwind. Or Dreamwind. Uh, Deathwind. Dream, Dreamwind? Dream, Dreamwind. Dreamwind. Wino. Deathwind. Deathwind. You nincompoop. Mental Discipline. Return to Nature. Vantress Paladin. Crawling Filth. And a Fiery, Fiery Fall. Hwa! Ooh, look at that. It's a foil rare, except that it's not a rare. It's a common. Remember when this was a rare? I remember when this was a rare. Poor Mortician Beetle. How the Mighty Have Fallen. Ooh, a Well Wisher. There you go. Jonathan, I don't know if you play elves, but now you have a sweet well-wisher. The good thing about well-wisher is it counts your opponent's elves, too. So it, like, gains you a life for every elf in play, not just your own. Solid stuff. Solid stuff. Tice. Tice G's walking away with that curse of opulence. And that curse of opulence is... Huh, 
a hallowed burial, along with a Peace Walker Colossus. You've got a Phantom Nomad, Gleaming Barrier, Feral Animist, Hunger of the Nim, Haunted Cadaver, and Teo's Light Shield. Chwa. A Foil Brute Force, and Common Run Common with Dollar More. Hmm, Counterspell. No blue cards, and then a Counterspell. It's just, just sometimes is how the, the cookie crumbles, I guess. It's just how the cookie crumbles. Jonathan, you're here, right? Yes, you are here. You've been talking in chat this whole time. Um, okay, we've got Eric. Eric S. gets a half and half, so gets a regular grab bag and then gets a foil grab bag. But I also threw in this Aether Tide Whale that I found kicking around. When is the Mr. Bevers merch? Uh, I've, been, I've been rolling around the idea in my head for a while um, of stuff to get um, for merch. Um, and I, you know, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. I have play, I have a play mat. It's plain black. It has the Nerdvana logo in the bottom. You can purchase it. I think it's, I don't remember what the price is. I think it's like 30 bucks Canadian, which is like comes out to about $25 American. And that covers the shipping. Um, and that's all in, uh, we got fumigate. Uh, but I am trying to get an artist to work on some new playmats for me. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted them to look like, but I'm not an artist. So, like, I have this idea in my head that I think would look absolutely awesome. And I want to make it a reality. Um, but I don't. Ha I don't I don't have the skills to put it together. We got Trepanation Blade, Bola Warrior, Gorehound Gorehorn Minotaurs, Kujar Seed Sculptor, Fiddlehead Kami, and Pollen Bright Druid, and your foil is a latchkey fairy. And your common run common dollar more is a cabal therapy. There you go. Alright. Um the idea is one of each color. Of course, so you've got white, blue, black, red, and green. But essentially, like, so um, the field of the plains would have essentially, like, um, a crop circle in the field that is the Nerdvana logo. Um, so, like, it would be a big kind of, like, Nerdvana logo laid out flat on the area of the plains, right? Um, then the island would, of course, be just, like, a lake or a pond or something with like that I guess or maybe like an island shaped like the Nerdvana logo with like maybe his glasses are like little inlets or something who knows right and then like similar so like each one so then like a swamp would be like a swampy kind of brush area so it's similar like to like the squirrel art where they hid the squirrels in the art on the land similar to that only with the Nerdvana logo um so that's what I want but you know I'm not an artist so you know how it goes all right, we've got 10 foils here for Eric. We got Gideon's Phalanx, so starting strong with a rare. Then we've got a Fen Hauler. We have a Momentary Blink. We have a Rubble Belt Maka. We have a Snare Thopter. We have a Veteran Armorer. We have a Territorial, Territorial Bailoth. We have an Act of Heroism. We have a Arcane Denial. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, one more. Schwa. Fires of un undeath. Undeath. And then your common or uncommon with all or more. Ba boom A spell stutter sprite. There you go. So there you go, Eric. Those are your grab bags for this month. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy your extra Aether Tide Whale, which I will sign for you, of course, before I send it out. Uh, let me just kind of do a quick little... Uh, fixing up here of this so that that stays a little bit more upright. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. And then let's do the same with this one and the same with this one. And then we can do this one and that one. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So individual Nerdvana logos of each color. Uh, basically. But the idea is to have it, like, actually, like, the landscape 
Do you know what I mean? Like, so, like, it would be, like, a planes. Like, someone drew a planes, but then instead of the planes, there's, like, a cutout in the field of, like, the Nirvana logo. So that it looks like it's in the art, as opposed to just art of the logo with, like, the color, right? Like, that's... It's, it's a little bit more in-depth, right? It requires an actual artist, which is why I can't do it myself. Uh, Twilight's Eve, walking away that Aurelia's Fury foil. And what do we got? Ba-boom! Lumbering Falls, that's a nice one. There we go. And a Malicious Affliction, very nice. And then we've got a Mark of Mutiny. And then as to your other question, Stormcrow, uh, hats and stuff, um, for sure. For sure. Um, I've had one person ask me to get the Mr. B icon, um, the 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 bald 8-bit Mr. B on sleeves. Um, so I've looked into that. Um, I haven't found a great way to do it yet, so I'm working on that. Uh, uh, Vildin Pack Outcast Foil. And a Swiftfoot Boots. So Twilight's Eve, you got a Mark of Mutiny, Chandra's Defeat, Kavrak's Torch... Uh, Rage of Perforos, Grim Affliction, and a Senate Griffin as your commons uncommons. We haven't hit any booster packs. What is going on? We should have hit one by now, I would think. Like, remember, like, last, what was it, last month or the month before, we hit, like, eight of them in a row? Like, I, I normally add about, like, four to each row, so I add about eight each month, right? And we didn't hit any, we haven't hit any. That's kind of weird. Okay, Matt. Matt's walking away that Dark Depths. Huh. Boom. A Newscraft mob. Good old Newscraft mob. And an Oath of a Johnny. We've got a Hissing Igu Iguanar. Or Iguanar. Uh, we've got a Chastise. Kolos Year Year Yearling. Ghoul Collar's Bell. Font of Fortunes, and a Centaur Nurturer. Your foil is a Territorial Hammer Skull, and your common or uncommon dollar more is a Relentless Rats. You are welcome, Stormcrow. You are welcome. That's your first grab bag. Let's pull your second. Matt gets two. Matt gets two. Hero of Goma Fada. Ooh, a Quarantine Field. That's a nice mythic right there. Commander playable for sure. Totem Guide Heart Beast. Soul Stinger. Greenwood Sentinel. Siren, a Siren of the Fanged Coast. Brightwood Tracker. And Goblin Lookout. Look at that little sweet goblin boy. And a Foil Reclaim. That's nice. And your common or uncommon dollar or more is an Elvish Promenade. Good old Elvish Promenade. So there you go, Matt. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. Did you remember to put the wild cards back in? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. But yes, I did, Eric. I put them in. I put them in a few days ago, actually, when I was getting... I So I, I scanned a bunch more cards to put into here. I, put, I got all the cards sleeved and ready to go into the patron pile. And I put the cards back into here so that everything was ready for this when I did it this weekend. It's one of the things that I have to do, like, at the beginning of every month. Uh, Paws Brown, Mishra's Bubble. Ha! Huh. Walking away the Hamlet, Goli Hamlet back Goliath, and a Mizium Mortars. Those are some, that Mizium Mortars is a good one. We've got a Sultai Skull Keeper. We've got an Angel of Despair. We've got a Legion Guild Mage. We've got a Makeshift Mauler. We've got a Henge Walker. And we have a Firemind Vessel. All right. And then a foil, Goblin Bang Chuckers. Dang Bang Chuckers, always chucking their bangs around. And a Whisper Silk Cloak. Whisper Silk Cloak, shout out to Kitchen Table Commander. That's his card of choice when it comes to Commander decks. If he can't run Whisper Silk Cloak in his deck, he doesn't play it. That's just how that works. Paws also has a YouTube channel. You should go check him out if you haven't already. Uh, solid dude. Paws and I did a little, uh, did, he, Paws was graciously my guinea pig for my, uh, new series, Kraken for a Cause. We've got Peter S. walking away with two grab bags. Dark Steel Mutation. Alright, what do we got, Peter? We got a, a Nico Te and a Slayer's Play. Two equipments for Peter in the first grab bag. Tavern Swindler. Grave Strength. 
Diabolic Edict, Timber Gorge, that's not supposed to be in there, Hallow Hen Spirit, Iron Bully, this one, and a Roiling, Rolling, Roiling? Roiling Terrain. Did you get more grab bags this month? Yes. Yes, Bob. We are pulling for uh, three new people on this video. We've got Torment of Venom foil. Very nice. Torment of Venom is a sweet little card. And we've got an Incandescent Soulstoke. But also, I've been rambling a lot. So, Peter, second grab bag. Let's see what you got. we got a Frontier Siege. But I always ramble. Ooh, and a Rooftop Storm. Rooftop Storm is a sweet little card as well. Lead the Stampede. Verdant, Verdant Automaton, Take Heart, Driver of the Dead, Charging Badger, 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 Mushroom, Mushroom, Vampire Revenant, and a Foil Bile Urchin. Cool. Foil Kamigawa card there, and a Zulaport Cutthroat. There you go. So there you go, Peter. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bags this month. Shove, 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 I say. Pull that out of there like that. Who's next? Who is next? Kyle. Kyle's walking away with two grab bags. we got Maelstrom, Maelstrom Archangel. And we've got, ba-boom, a Hero's Downfall. That's a good one. And a Temple of Enlightenment. Wow, look at that. Two solid rares right there. Verdant Eidolon. Wojak Bodyguard. Eye Collector. Sundering Growth. Raph, Capuchin, Ship's Mage, and a Gem Palm Avenger. Your foil is a foil unearth, and your common or uncommon with dollar or more is a Relic of Progenitus. There you go. Some nice graveyard hate, right? Yeah, some nice graveyard hate. We'll take it. Okay, T two grab bags. All right, Kyle. I'm glad it was your pleasure, Pause. It was my pleasure, too. I really appreciate you being my guinea pig. Fathom Feeder. Ooh, Demon of Dark Schemes. That's a good mythic. Solid. Zelfin, uh, Zelfarin Void. Exultant Sky Marcher. Tandem Tactics. Mana Geyser. Tragic Poet. Sigiled Starfish. My boy. My boy. Nature's Claim. Foil. Foil Unfriendly Fire. And Common or Uncommon Dollar or More. Jataxian probe. There we go. There you go, Kyle. Congratulations. If you're all wondering why he got an extra pull there out of this row is because there was a land there. And there shouldn't have been a land there. But there was a land there. So, extra pull for Kyle. That's how we do things here. We got Heather. Heather's walking away with that Perforos. Good old Perforos. Alright. You have to go to bed? Alright. Have a good evening, Mana Burn. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. And stay safe, friend. We've got Avon Mind Sensor. We've got Ghastly Conscription. Nice mythic there. All right. Sweet, sweet. Seal of Doom. Brood Hunter Worm. Glow Glowering Ragon or Rogon. Razor Tooth Rats. Reeve Soul. And Krull Stinger. And your foil is a foil quiet speculation. Ba boom. And a Thran Dynamo. Good old Thran Dynamo. There you go, Heather. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. And there it is. Ba bam. Moving along. We got Connor. Connor's working on that foil Mindslaver. Good old foil Mindslaver. Mindslaver, great little card for Commander. Lots of fun. Curse of Echoes. That's a fun one, too. And a Radiant Purge. There you go. Exile Target Multicolored card. Uh, creature, actually. Creature or multicolored enchantment. Glimmer Point Stag. Valoran Outlander. Skittering Scourge. Opaline Unicorn. Unicorn Tribal's coming, right? Dread Drone. And Cloudkin Seer. And your foil is a Wrap in Flames. And your common or uncommon dollar or more is a Ruminap Ruins. There it is. There it is. Ruminap Ruins. There it is, being a land. We've got Tyler B. walking away with that preordain. Preordain. Tyler, what are we finding? We've got a Goblin Trenches. 
and a stolen goods. I love cards like this. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of his or her library until he or she exiles a non-land card. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Such a cool concept of a card. The problem is, is that it costs four mana to cast. Nova Cleric, Stinging Barrier, Headlong Rush, Satyr Hedonist, Torrent of Souls, and Frilled Sea Serpent. And your foil, Foil Fog. Fog. You going to you go to combat? You swing with all that? Here are the blocks I make. Fog. You 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 why? Why'd you block if you were just gonna fog? I wanted to see if you'd waste any combat tricks. You monster! You monster. Thank you so much, Tyler. I appreciate you. There's your grab bag. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, let's do this. Mike V walking away with that. Uh, alt art or constellation art, Clothis, god of destiny. And Mike gets two grab bags. Let's see what Mike gets. Mike is going to get a deflecting palm. That's a good rare. Nice little hit there. And an Eidolon of the Great Rebel. <whistles> Spicy hits for, for Mike right there in the first grab bag. Gurmag Angler, Marble Chalice, Radical Idea, Sheffet Monitor, Burn Away, and Crypt Sliver. All right. And a foil shadow glider, and your common or uncommon dollar or more, is a changeling titan. Good old changeling titan. Good stuff, good stuff. And Mike's next grab bag. Ooh, an Aether Sphere Harvester. That's another good rare. And a blood clock. Well, you know, blood clock's all right, I guess. It's not like a heavy hitter price-wise, but it's still an interesting card. Keldon Champion, Saber Ants. Shriek of the Dead, a Shriek of Dead, Undying Rage, Rising Populace, and Tomb Hex. Good old Tomb Hex. Foil Filigree Crawler. And what do we get here? Oh, a Rumanap Ruins. Well, there you go, Mike. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Well, let's get you sleeved up here like so. I hope you enjoy your grab bags for this month. And thank you so much for your support. Who's next? Kazan. Kazan is here. Walking away with that funeral charm with the mana tithe. Kazan, what do you get? First grab bag. Hero of Iroas. And Overwhelming Denial. Overwhelming Denial is a great little card, too. Humble. Good old Humble. Uh, what the heck is that? Pious Warrior. Smitten Swordmaster. Scourge Devil. Kill Shot. And Grim. Discovery. Hey, Frank, come take a look at this. What'd you find? Whatever it is, it's grim. We got an Erg Raider foil. And then we've got a Jataxian Probe. So there you go. Kazan, that's your first grab bag. Let's pull your second grab bag. Kaboom. Ooh, Dramoka's Command. That's a nice little rare. All right. And Pia's Revolution. Duress. Beanstalk Giant. Mystic Sanctuary, which is not supposed to be in there, but it is a good land. Sunlance. Torch Gauntlet. Arlen's Wolf. And Lazatep Reaver. Foil. Foil Traveler's Amulet. And your common or uncommon dollar more is a Changeling Titan. It's weird. Like, uh, it's weird that we're, like, pulling all of these back-to-back. -back. Like, it's not like there's a lot of them in there. I put three Changeling titan Titans into this whole thing, and we pulled two of them, like, almost back-to-back. -back, but we didn't pull any the rest of, like, and, um, mm, I don't know. All right, Gav. Gav's walking away with that Selvala. There it is. Nice Selvala there. And uh, Gav gets two grab bags because we owe him one from May and owe him one from June. Still no pack, Bob? Yeah, man, I don't know. Botanical Sanctum. I'm just going to have to, like, go through the box after this. And a Chandra. Wow. All right. My goodness. Some spicy hits right there for your first grab bag. Mizium Skin, Sacred Excavation, Skitterer of Lizards, Skitterer of Lizards, Glaring Aegis Eye Collector, and Lay of the Land. And a foil is a Fathom Seer. And... How? How? I shuffled these... I, I don't even... I don't know. Well, that's all the change. That's all the changeling titans out of there. We don't. There's no more. All right. 
You've got some pretty stellar. You've got some some pretty stellar patrons, Mr. Bevers. Yes, they're all, including you. Pause. You are also stellar. See, we've got a nomads assembly and a plague wind pyroclasm, trial of ambition, gruesome fate, diminish, demolish, and oh, why wasn't it another D word? Guild Globe, you let me down. You let me down, Guild Globe. Foil fire breathing. Okay. No changeling. Oh, it's a wear and tear. Alright, that's a cool little card. Wear and tear is worth a couple of books. Couple of dollary dues. There you go, Gav. Congratulations. Those are your grab bags for May and June. I really appreciate your support. I hope you enjoy your grab bags. All right, let's go. Let's see here. We got Wolf, Mr. Wolf, walking away. That as for told, as for told's a great little card as well, from the patron pile right there. Lantern Scout, and a Spellweaver Helix from Mirrodin. Cool. It's a cool little card. We've got a Nocturnal Raid, Pneumonic Wall, Dragon Wings, Inspiring Cleric, Lazatep Reaver, Steadfast Century, and. A Twisted Abomination foil. And... Ha! A Timely Reinforcements. That's pretty nice. What I really need to do is I need to, like, go out and start just buying some collections from folks to, like, get a bunch of, like, different foils and stuff from different sets and things so that I can, like, add them to the pile. Like, I have a big box full of foils that are already sleeved up in green that are from various sets and stuff, but, like, I need to, like, get a more variety, I think. Um, Call for Unity as your first rare for the second grab bag. And, ooh, a Rest in Peace is the second rare. That's nice. Rest in Peace is a nice little hit. Vessel of M Malignity. Esper Sojourners. Invigorating Boon. Avenging Arrow. Obnixilus's Cruelty. Bone Splinters. And a Foil Aether Toe. Ooh, that's pretty nice. And Commoner on Commoner Dollar More is a Price of Progress. There you go. Price of Progress, a good one. There you go, Tony. Congratulations. What are we doing? Almost two hours now? My goodness. We're going to have to take a break after this before we do Jonathan's bundle. Uh, we got Mana Burn. Mana Burn's walking away with the propaganda. And the break is just so that I can get a drink and uh, take a stretch. Um, Mana Burn, walking away with that. Uh, Munda's Vanguard, as well as Rat Catcher. Mana Burn already had to leave to go to sleep. So, Man of Burn's going to have to catch up to this. We've got a Tears of Valakit, Esper Stormblade, Grudge Keeper, Sweatworks Brawler, Into the Void. Of course, my internet goes sideways when we get near my pulls. I'm sorry, Eric. I'm sorry. We've got Into the Void, and we've got Epic Epicure of Blood. Epicure of Blood. Foil Seal of Strength. And... A Jetaxian probe. Jetaxian probe. Jetaxian probe. I'm sorry, Eric. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying to get there. Oh, we're here, Eric. Uh, do you think it's still worth that? I don't think it's worth that anymore. Pause. The Godzilla Death Corona. Like, is it the foil one? Or is it the normal one? Because the foil one is the one that's worth more, because it's foil, of course. Um, I have one of each. I have the foil one and the non-foil one. Um, when I looked at their prices, they were like 23 24 bucks for the foil. Because, because there's just there's a whole ton of them out there. Nobody's returned them, nobody burned them, right? Like, if Wizards had been like, oh, we actually recalled them, right? and a few of them slipped out, they'd be worth that much or more, right? But since they all slipped out in the first wave, they're everywhere. They're all over the place. I don't think that you'll get that price for it. That might have been the price for it when it like when it first launched in Japan, but not so much now. That foil leveler, as well as something else, I can't remember what the other thing was. We got a Hamlet back Goliath. We've got a Painful Truths. We've got an Isolation Zone. Claim the Firstborn, seeing a lot of play actually right now. Mighty Leap, Dragon Egg, Fierce Witch Stalker, and a Scathe Zombies. 
from 9th edition. A little white border card there. A foil choking restraints. And your common or uncommon dweller more is an abrade. There you go. Abrade's a nice little card. Seeing play in Pioneer for sure. Also sees play in Commander. Just a very good card. Abrade is just a very good card. Two mana, burn something for three, or blow up an artifact is just solid. All right. We've made it to Unpacked. Unpacked gets these sweet, sweet lands. These sweet, sweet lands. So that goes back into that pile there, like this. Boop. And Unpacks cards. Ba Boom! You are welcome, Eric. Thank you for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Abandoned Sarcophagus. If you have to take off now, don't worry about it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you're going to stick around, we are going to open up a bundle of Ikoria for Jonathan, I assume. Jonathan, you want Ikoria? Yes? Or do you want something else? Phantasmal Image. Angelic Renewal. Imp Imperious Oil Oligarch. Arcanist Oil... Or Arcanist's Owl. My goodness. What are we doing? This one? Rite of Precinct 6. Brown Ophi. And Soulworn Jury. And a foil Sky Knight Legionnaire. Foil, but I was hoping everyone would laugh. <laughs> well, I mean, I did. I had a good chuckle. Pause. It's that card. Everyone, you know. And there's a nice windfall. All right. Sweet. There you go. Unpacked. A nice little windfall for you. Very nice little windfall. Yes. The windfalliest. All right. We got Viking MTG walking away with that foil intruder alarm. And let's see, what do we got? Ooh, we got a Connive and Concoct. Very nice. And a Rurik Thar, the Unbowed. Fun little uh, legendary there. Phyrexian Hulk. My goodness. Orcish Healer. Dr Droning Bureaucrats. Flowstone Blade. Repulse. And Raise the Alarm. Foil? Foil gaseous form, along with an abrade. Why are we pulling them all together? I don't understand. Like, I split them up. Like, when I put them into the box, I split them up so that they weren't together. And yet, we're pulling them all together. I don't know how this is happening. Okay, we've got Raphael. Raphael, are you still here? We've got your Carnage Tyrant. Let's see what we get for your grab bag. <gasps> but boom Fall of the Titans. And Master Trinketeer. We've got Conviction. We've got Deny Reality. We've got Afeto Grifter. We've got Feral Deceiver. We've got er Eronson's Aura. I, I, what a weird card name. And Moat Piranhas. Hey, Zortzika, how's it going? And we've got a Foil Reservoir Walker. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. And... A Viscera Seer. There you go, Raphael. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hope you enjoy your grab bag. I really appreciate it. Jonathan, are you still here? You haven't said anything in a while. You didn't answer my question. I hope you're still here. We've got Carl. Carl E. Walking away that half and half, but also getting that pyretic ritual foil right there. All right. First, Carl. Sign all except the common and uncommons. Okay. Let's, let's, let me just see here. We've got one. You don't want the Viscera Seer? Do you want this signed or not? So, like, sign all the ones in the sleeves is what you're saying? Is that what you mean by sign all not commons and uncommons? So none of these things signed, but all of the sleeved ones? Just so that I'm on the same page as you. Just let me know. I know there's a delay, so I will put your stuff away and continue on with Carl. Carl, we've got a beacon of destruction. Sign the ones in the sleeves. Okay, perfect. Phantasmal image. We got Necromancer's Mage Mark, Skirk Commando, Weapon Rack, Water Knot, Coalition Honor Guard, and Goblin Electromancer. With a foil, Kingpin's Pet, and a common or uncommon dollar more. 
Hey, Burnished Heart. Burnished Heart's a nice little card. Great for Commander. All right, Carl gets a foil grab bag. Let's do this. Foil grab bag. Ready? One. Eager Construct. Two. Counterspell. Three. Cower in Fear. Four. Sleight of Hand. Five. Daredevil Dragster. Six. Kill Shot. Seven. Rally the Peasants. Eight. Trumpet Blast. Nine. Wake the Reflections. And ten. Viscopa Guild Mage. You got a Counterspell Foil and a Sleight of Hand Foil. Both very good. All right, have a great night, Raphael. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking around for your grab bag. I appreciate it. Preordain. There you go. There you go, Carl. My goodness. We did it. We made it, everybody. Jonathan. My man. My main man, Jonathan. Are you still here? Did you pass out? Did you walk away? Sam M. Walking away with that Thran Dynamo. And two grab bags. Ba boom We've got a Free Jam Regent. We've got a Supreme Verdict. We've got a Life Crafter's Gift. A Purification Memory Theft. Bastion Inventor. Sphinx's Disciple. And Griffin Protector. Foil Watchful Automaton. And your common or common with the dollar more? Oh, Naganita. Onaganata! I don't know how to pronounce it. Just You're still kind of here? What kind of bundle do you want? I'm going to open it after we're done all of this. Sam M, and we're nearing the end, so that's why I'm asking you to like let me know. Do you want Ikoria? Is that what you were looking for? Sam M, getting a second grab bag here. Let's do this. Ba-boom! Icy Blast. Secret Salvage. Courier Hawk. Take Heart. Stink Drinker Daredevil, Bound in Silence, Worm Fang Crab, and Strength in Numbers. Foil Chandra's Outrage, and come around, come to learn more. A Rumanap Ruins. A Ramanap Ruins. You just ordered an Icy Blast? <laughs> do, 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 Sam. Why you tell me this? No, I'm the worst. I'm sorry, Sam. Now you're gonna have two. Now you got two. Now you gotta build another deck with Icy Blast in it. All right, Ghost Unit. I don't know if you're still here, Ghost Unit, kicking around, but we got your Goblin Pile Driver. All right, and then we've got a Lord of the Unreal. Nice little Lord there for your uh, illusions and Sahili's Artistry. Now you get a second one. <laughs> we got equal treatment. This is what we need right now. My god. Look at this. Cripes. Equal treatment, people. Get on board. Smiting Helix. Raid Bombardment. Charging Badger. Devouring Hellion. Stormkirk. Stromkirk Patrol. Foil Battle Rattle Shaman. Ah, ye. And an Arcane Denial. There we go. Arcane denial. Denied. Arcanely. How do you deny someone arcanely? Don't worry about it. Not only do you get a second one, but you also help support Mr. B and keep the channel going. <laughs> See, Zorzico knows what's up. All right. Rick. Last but not least, Rick's walking away with that sweet, sweet Domri from that collector's pack. We have three of those left, which means that goes back in the pile. Rick, let's pull your two grab bags. If you're still here, we're, we're here finally. Admiral's Order. Thalia. Hey, look at that. There's a Thalia. Guardian of Thraben. Nice. Turn to Mist. C uh, ooh, Centaur Archer. A nice Ice Age uh, multicolor card there. Sage of the Falls. Uh, Volshock Sorcerer. Marauder's Axe. And a Cabal Evangel. Your foil is a Thundersong Trumpeter. And your common or uncommon dollar or more is a preordain. All right, Rick, that's your first grab bag. Let's pull your second. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba boom Ooh, Debt of Loyalty. That's a great little card, actually. Debt of Loyalty is very good. We've got a Resolute uh, Archangel. We'll just uh, slide this guy back in there like so. Um, we've got Bone Picker. Bone Picker. Binding Agony. Dusk Hunter Bat. 
Dead Reveler, God's Willing, and Anvil Rot Raptor. Your foil. All right, Sam. Have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. Grapple with the past. Foil. Nice. And, ooh, Triumph of the Hordes. Look at that. That's like a $9 uncommon right there. That's awesome. There you go, Rick. Knocking it out of the park this month, Rick, my man. You have done it. Just getting all the value. Value Town Rick. That's what I'm going to call you from now on. We'll put that there like that. Put that there like that. All right. Whew. Whoo, doggy. What is this? It's hot in here. You know what I'm saying? It it hot in here, yo. It hot in this room. Zero packs. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through the box and be like, what the F? The F is going on. There's, I know there's packs in there. I put them in. I put them in, Bob. All right. Danny. Danny, my man. Ikoria is for Jonathan, so we need to get an Ikoria bundle for Jonathan, which I have right here. Bam. Biggity. Biggity bam. All right. We'll put Jonathan's bundle here-ish for the moment. And let's do Danny's pack. So we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine packs. We're going to roll a D10. All right, Danny. I'm going to roll this D10. On a zero, you get nothing. I'm just kidding. You don't get nothing. We just re-roll. We'll just re-roll. I'm going to shuffle these bad boys up like so. Let's see what Danny gets this week. Or this month, I guess. All right, Danny. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What'd you get? Ooh, Corset 2013. Some spicy stuff in this pack, let me tell you. Uh, 2013 has some nice planeswalkers and stuff in it. If I don't, if I do remember correctly, which maybe I do not, but I believe it does. All right, what do we got? What do we got for Danny? We've got Show of Valor. We've got Vedelkin Entra Entrancer, Wild Guess, Dark Favor, Glorious Charge, Murder, Water Courser, Duty Bound Dead. Encrust Bond Beetle. My name's Bond. Bond Beetle. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong. My name's Beetle. Bond Beetle. Hey, is that better? I think that's Garrick's Pack Leader. Nice little green card uh, draw draw mechanic with pe creatures with power three or greater. Solid little card. We got Switcheroo. We've got Clever a Riot, or Cleaver? Cleaver Riot. Not Clever. Cleaver Riot. And Simeon... Uh, sh sh no, sh Shemayan Spectre? Shemayan Spectre. A 2-2 two -two flyer for four that says, When Shemayan Spectre deals combat damage to a player, that player reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it. Search that player's graveyard hand and library for all cards with the same name as that card and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. This card seems not fun to play against if they can put, like, Swiftfoot Boots or Whisper Silk Cloak or something like that onto it. Like, you can't kill it and you can't block it. And now it just hits you and exiles things from you. Now, not very good in Commander, obviously, because you're not going to have any cards... I mean, like, it's still not bad. It's a repeatable discard effect that lets you, like, thought seize them, essentially, every turn. So that's not terrible. It just doesn't... There's no point in searching their library and their graveyard in Commander, because they're not going to have other copies. Um, but still, pretty crazy. And then did we get a foil? Am I seeing a foil here? No, it's just a land. Okay. And there's your little ab token thing. Cool. Well, there you go, Danny. That's your little uh, bundle package thing there. Uh, for this month. I got you a Phyrexian Arena because I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? 
I think that tier really should probably have a patron pile pull. Because, I mean, you are still... You're getting a pack, a random pack. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it, but I did it by accident this month. I don't know. I'm still debating it. But you got it this month, and you hit a really good one, so it should last you a few months of value anyway. All right. Ikoria bundle time. This is for Jonathan. Jonathan, my man. I'm going to open this up, but then I'm going to get a drink. Let's just... Let's just cut it right across the middle there. Like so. There it is. Look at that. Huh. Alright. That's garbage. Okay. Let me drink some of this. Ah, there we are. Much better. Much, much better. Alright. <clears throat> you know what, wizards? Why? Why have you not made one of these into a code for arena yet? Why not? What harm is it? A single booster pack. It's not even a full pack. It's, it's three commons, two uncommons, and a rare. What? A, what is the problem with 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 making it a? a th I don't know. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. That's all. This big old die goes over here like so. Plink, plink, plonk. All right, Jonathan. This is coming your way. These nice little cardboard tokens. Good stuff. Good stuff. These packs look really weird. Is it just me? These packs look super washed out. Look at this. Look at the color difference on these. Like, I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but like, Look how rich the color looks on this one, right? Compared to this one. Like, this is super faded. That's really weird. Super weird. Alright. Alright, Jonathan. So what do you want out of these bundles? The ones on the right look super shiny. Um, they're not like super shiny. They're just... So, all uncommons. All rares. All foils. All alt arts. Is that correct? Is that the... I think that's what we normally do, right? There, there's no commons you're looking for. Correct? Pack in the sun. Basically, that's what it looks like, Bob. For sure. Raugrin Crystal. Exuberant Wolf Bear. Primal Empathy. Same like always. Yeah. All right. Hey, it's Kogla. Kogla. Good old Kogla. And a Plains and... Ooh, look, it's garbage. They gave me garbage. Thanks. Thanks, wizards. I appreciate the garbage you've given me. I appreciate the garbage. All right. Ha! Let's pull out the commons here. No alt arts. Necro Panther. Unbreakable Bond. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. And ooh, how about a Winoda? You want a Winoda, Jonathan? Because Winoda is a sweet little card. And there's a foil. Foil suffocating fumes. Yeah, I'm assuming you don't care about these dismal black waters, right? I'm just going to put them in the pile over here with all my other, like... I have a huge stack on the edge of my desk. That is one day going to tip off my desk, I'm sure of it, and go everywhere. Uh, but it's just all of, like, the cons lands that are just from, like, the last, like, four sets. <laughs> it's just a huge stack of them. And I just stack them there because I'm like, I don't know, nobody really wants these. They're, they're reprinted in every set almost now. Ivy Elemental. 
but you never know when they're going to be useful because someone like, oh, I need dual lands or I need lands that do fixing that give me more than one color. Uh, Duskfang Mentor. Uh, Skull Prophet. Ooh! Look at that spicy boy. That's a spicy looking boy. Wow, that is gorgeous. Campfire times is what you heard. That's gorgeous. I haven't seen this art yet uh, for Snapdax. It's absolutely gorgeous. Wow, very nice. Double Mythic Bundle at the moment. Double Mythic Bundle at the moment. Well, FK, you'll be happy to know that I have a lot of that product, so I will probably try to run a draft or two once quarantine and stuff is over. Uh, Ketria Crystal, so you'll have a chance to get some of it. Flourishing Fox, Weaponize the Monsters, and Garuda! Good old Garuda. Oh look, it's a Blossoming Sands. Camp Town Races, sing this song, dude. Don't get me demonetized. <laughs> Alright, there's an alt art. Pouncing Shore Shark. Now, it is an uncommon, so it would have gone in the uncommon pile anyway, but there it is. Jubilant Skybonda. You're only missing a Luna in the art style now? Nice! So wait, you snap decks it helps you get closer to completing the alt arts? Or do you not need the snap decks? Is that what you're... I'm assuming the snap decks helps you get closer, because that's sweet, if so. Uh, Savai Thundermane. Oh, there's another one. Z Zerda. Zerda the Dawn Walker. Or Waker. Dawn Waker. And a nice Clash of Titans. Very nice. Hey, look, a, a mound... A, a, a swamp. That's the one. That's the one. You know, the one with the S in its name. Yeah, Forest. No, oh, you mean Plains. No, 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 no. The one with the S in the name. Oh, Islands. Islands. It gets you closer. Nice. That's awesome. I'm super stoked about that. Charge of the Forever Beast. I love it when... People like you, Jonathan, get things out of the bundles you buy from me that help you get the collection you're looking to get. It fills me with so happiness. Splains? Splains! A smountain? A smountain! It's a smountain. Frill Scale Mentor. Lava Brink Ventura! And another foil, Sabretooth. Survive Sabretooth. Alright, 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 alright. Three foils, two mythics. Uh, two alt arts so far, one of them being a mythic. It's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. It's a pretty good bundle so far. I picked right for you, apparently. <laughs> I just picked the one that was closest to me. It's right. It was right there on the shelf. Just right over there. Just right over there. It was just, like, just off camera. Polywog Symbiote. Polywogaday. Generals Enforcer. Lord Dracus. And Cub Warden. All right, Cub Warden and Lord Dracus and all those other uncommons we opened there that did that could have had alt art but weren't. What's up? What's up with you? Why can't you be alt art? Huh? That's what I want to know. This guy. That guy's a menace. That dude. Corpse churn. No, we don't care. We only want alt art commons. Alt art com No alt art commons. Glowstone Recluse. You could have been alt art. Why weren't you? Ominous Seas. Proud Wild Bonder. And, oh, well, hello, Vadrock of Apex of Thunder. <gasps> Three Mythic Bundle. It's a pretty good bundle. It's a pretty good bundle. Three Mythic Bundle. Ooh, you need the cats for the, uh... For the cat dog commander coming, man, I that thing looked amazing. I saw the I saw the spoiler for it and I went, what? I was like, that looks awesome. We got a dream tail heron. We've got a majestic oracorn, flame spill, sanctuary lockdown, and inspired ultimatum. A little human token and blip. 
Also, I totally read that last card as prou prou proud wild boner. It's a proud wild boner. You know, those wild boners. We've got an exuberant wolf bear. Ooh, it's an archipelagor. Ar archipelagor. Alt art, very nice. Sonorous owl bonder. And oh, hey, an alt art rare, sea dasher. There you go. All right, cool. Another, uh, another alt art to end it off. Very nice. That bundle was pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet, I have to say. Kill them with cuteness. You didn't hit any cat tokens. You hit all human soldier tokens. No cat tokens for you, apparently. But yeah, um, so for those of you who don't know, they did errata all hounds. So any creature type that is a creature type of hound is now a dog. Um, so because they've got a new... Uh, essentially legendary card coming out in core 2021 i believe that hat that is essentially like it deals damage or like it, it 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 does stuff based on the number of dogs and the number of cats you control it's very interesting i really know how to pronounce archipelago because of metal gear solid yeah it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So there you have it, everybody. Holy moly. What a long run it's been. Two hours and 12 minutes. I am just knackered, as they say. Just knackered. I'm ready to kick rocks. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to kick rocks. I'm ready to kick rocks. Charlo posted a hilarious thing to me the other day, or told, said something hilarious to me the other day. I don't know if she got it from somewhere, but she did post it the other day. And it was, okay there, bud, is Canadian for, fuck you. <laughs> okay there, bud. And I was like, huh, yeah, it's, it's pretty Canadian. It's pr pretty Canadian, I agree. You play cats to make dogs, and you use the dogs to deal damage. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds pretty sweet. This was a really good bundle for you, Jonathan. Three mythics, three foils, a bunch of alt arts. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. I'll put that in there like so. Put that in there like so. Put that in there like so. There we go. Boom. Grab another one of these bad boys. Come out of there, thing. Put all these together like this. There we go. Boom. Boom biggity. Lands can go in the land pile over here. Boop. Commons and uncommons can go into the maybe the uh, the, bulk, the bulk pile over here. Just piles of cards all over the place. It's what I do. It's how I do things. All right. Woo. Have yourselves a wonderful evening, a wonderful night, a wonderful day, depending on where you are in the world. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. I really appreciate it. Put that in there like so. Yep. It's what we do. It's what we do. And by what we do, I mean it's what I do. You know how I do. All right. And then I'm going to put this in here. Like that, because that's your stuff, and I gotta find your grab bag, which is somewhere in this pile. I don't remember how far back it was. Uh, Matt, Twilight, Eric, Tice, Jonathan. Bam. When are we getting the deck text? Man, Jonathan, I don't know. When I have time. When I have time to actually sit down and, like, uh, figure it out. And by figure it out, I mean, like, write the script, basically. Although it's not really a script, but just, like, 
it's going to take me some time to figure out how I want to do it because I got to figure out whether I want to have the deck like on the table and do it in real time with my hands and the deck out or whether I want to do it all like virtual with the cards popping up on the screen in splash screens. Do you know what I mean? Like, do I want to go fancy with it or do I want to go bare bones, like just film top down, talk about the deck with the cards in the deck? I don't know yet. Um, I kind of want to try my hand at doing like a fancy thing where I put like four or five cards up on the screen, but I have them flipped like this. So it's like the magic is on the back and they flip over as I talk about them so that you can see them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I want to try to do some fancy editing stuff with it to make it look like more sort of interesting to watch. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. And let's be honest. My deck building skills are not strong by any means. So I know that people are going to be like, why the hell did you build that that way? And I'm going to be like, I don't know, man. I don't even know why. why I, I don't even know why I would build it anyway. I just built it, okay? I put this in because I thought it would be fun. Because <laughs> I thought it would be fun. <laughs> All right. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.